I have been traveling since the last nine months in five states of India, helping the poor and needy people who have been suffering due to the lockdown, who were suicidal, who were in extreme trouble. There were cases where people wanted to die and the Lord sent me to help them as a prophet of the living God. I served the Lord and I remain protected even when I gave water baptism for the Lord's glory, even when I delivered in the name of Jesus, even when there were testimonies, even when I went to the homes of people to pray for them, the Lord kept me protected. Praise the Lord, my beloved ones. Today, like every believer, like everyone who has this question, why is India suffering? Why the Indians are suffering? Why are this crisis in India? You should know that I am an Indian and I am the prophetess of the living God. So this YouTube channel is for those who believe in our Lord God Jesus Christ as the son of the living God. And India is suffering because Indians, they need to repent because India is the country which is too much into idol worshipping. And because I am staying here, because I am born and brought up here in this country, I know that it is a demonic country where we, the people of God, are blessed and protected by our Lord God Jesus Christ only. There is a lot of idol worship. And as I have been traveling in different states of India, there are so many demonic gods, the idol gods they have different names they have a different behavior in different states in different areas if you go to south india if you go to east west or north these are different demonic powers and people are worshiping them so as the word of god says that the lord shall punish the idolaters who are doing idol worship it is difficult time in india because the lord is asking you to repent if you are suffering if you think that indians must be delivered india should be set free from this crisis you must repent because you have come to this prophetic word being led by the holy spirit and today the lord god is asking you to repent because your forefathers have been worshiping the idols you have been even doing witchcraft in various ways because when you speak the mantras of the other gods when you prophesy about the other gods when you prophesy falsely when you are doing the idol worship, you do false prophecies and you release the witchcraft, you release the witches, you release the demonic powers of the kingdom of darkness. And we, I being the prophetess of the living God, when I prophesy, I set you free. I deliver people from the same demonic powers because the word that I speak, it comes from heaven. It is the word that comes to our Lord God, Jesus Christ. Word of God is Jesus. So you need to repent if you have come here, if you are receiving this message, if you are seeking help, if you have this question, why India is suffering. So today your pastor has come to answer you, to help you understand that COVID-19 is the Lord's breath. It is the God's breath because these are the end times. And when sin is increasing, the God's breath is also seen because people, they don't want to repent. They want to continue with the sin. They want to continue with the idol worship. And in India, people are worshipping idols in a great, greater quantity. It is too much of idol worship, too many temples, too many worship of the 
demonic gods and there are so many they are in many in number but our jealous lord god jesus christ he needs all the glory so he is seeking that repentance he wants that repentance he wants you to repent if you are an indian the suffering shall be over once people repent and then the god's wrath will be silenced his work will be done those who have to repent they will be repented but also remember that those who are wicked they do not want to repent they deny repentance this people they will perish they will be punished and this is why here in india they are suffering from this covid 19 but i have a testimony of me and my family by the grace of our lord god jesus christ i have been traveling since last nine months in five states of india helping the poor and needy people who have been suffering due to the lockdown who were suicidal who were in extreme trouble there were cases where people wanted to die and the lord sent me to help them as a prophet of the living god i served the lord and i remained protected even when i gave water baptism for the lord's glory even when i delivered in the name of jesus even when there were testimonies even when i went to the homes of people to pray for them the lord kept me protected not only me but my family is also well protected that's why i glorify our lord god jesus christ i know that he is the one and only one the son of the living god the one and the only one lord god jesus christ in whom there is no sin jesus is blameless god the pure and holy god and if you are watching this video you should come to him you should repent so that india shall be set free the world shall be set free because you are among those people who must repent do not remain wicked like other people who are dying who are perishing because covid 19 is not for you the grace of our lord god jesus christ is for you you are the lord's blessed ones so if you are an indian if you are in india repent the lord is my shepherd i shall not be in want we thank all those who are honoring the lord with their wealth and for all the offerings we bless you with a hundredfold of return my beloved ones if you have not yet received our lord god jesus christ if you have not yet received the holy spirit we shall pray a small prayer because this repentance is at hand our father in heaven we come into your presence through our lord jesus christ and today we receive salvation we receive holy spirit into our heart oh lord forgive us our sins and help us to be born again we shall seek you O lord jesus christ unto zion in jesus mighty name amen my beloved ones, with this small prayer of repentance, your sins are forgiven and you have received Holy Spirit within you. You shall walk the walk of righteousness.